guys, welcome back. All right, so in uh, the Facebook group lately, I have been seeing a lot of people asking about changing the backgrounds um, of your planners so that you can do different desktops, different uh, paper styles and things like that. So um, I know Amber did do a video of this on her channel, which um, she is the featured channel on my um, YouTube page, which you're obviously watching on. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and show you how I do it just in case it differs from how she does it. So I have here the March portrait planner. It's May now, but this is a good one to use um, as a demonstration because you can see there's a lot of free space around here and there are rings on this planner which make it a little more difficult if you wanted to layer like washies or papers or things like that. So I'm going to show you how you can make this happen in Procreate. Now you want to screen capture your page. So I'm just going to hit my power and volume up buttons. And then you can do this up arrow over here on the top right. Literally just had to do this. Um, and then Procreate is right here. So you can just tap the Procreate button and it'll send it over to Procreate. So then you can delete the screenshot and just head on over and here it is okay so now there's a couple ways you can make this happen um in procreate when you hit this arrow it gives you the option to move or resize if you were to take this and move it up like this it just got rid of that so if you put something on the edge in Procreate and then turn off the move function, so these little uh, crawling ant lines are gone, anything that is off of the canvas is going to be deleted. So sometimes I use that to my advantage, especially if there's like white space like this, so that I don't have to mess with it later. Okay, so now we have just the desktop and the notebook. So I'm going to take this uh, I don't know, S-shaped ribbon thing here. I have it set to automatic. Now, when you go to select your background, you're gonna touch and hold, and then you can slide. And you see that blue bar moving across the top? That's what your threshold is. So that's deciding, okay, how much of this do you want me to get rid of and how much do you wanna save? So you can see that there is still white space in between the rings there, that's okay because I can now lift my pencil and then tap those little circles and it'll add them to the selection. If you accidentally touch something else and it lights up, two finger tap is undo and that will take you back a step. Here, I'll show you. If I accidentally hit the paper, two fingers, tap, undo. So now I have all of the desk space selected. So I'm gonna hit the move tool and you can just slide it off the screen you can pick the eraser and just sit and erase over it too but if you just slide it off the screen like i said anything that's off the screen is deleted so at this point i have just the blank notebook so i could then tap copy and then go back either go back into good notes and paste it where you want it or you could paste um, a background here, like a, a desk or a sand or whatever you wanted to. Um, and then this would have the, the notebook would have no data around, so it'd be transparent, so you could put it on top of anything. So another thing that I like to do, and I use this technique more than the desk technique. So, okay, I just did a few undos so that we're back to this point. Now, instead of selecting the um, desk, I'm going to select the paper. So hit the, oops, hit the S shaped thing. And again, watch your threshold. And then now you can go plus and I could drop a fill color in there, which would be a fun thing to do. Or what you can do is See, I just created this new layer, right? And it's got that color. What I can do now that I have this extra layer here, I can import 
a, say, a texture, a wallpaper, anything that you wanted to replace the page with. So I have one already in my on my clipboard, so I'm gonna take my three fingers, pull down, paste. Now you can see that it is um, covering everything, right? But if I tap that layer now and hit clipping mask, it makes it so that it matches that layer that I already cut out. So that is how when you see people changing papers for the extreme planners, that's probably how they do it. You can also do this in Photoshop. There are probably other programs you can do this with, but Procreate makes it super easy. Now, before we close out this video, I wanna show you another little trick that you might not know. So you have this background, right? You see on your layers how these all have the N right here next to the checkbox. If you tap that end, N, that takes you to your blend modes. So you can say, okay, I want it to look like that. You can mess with all of these. See that screen basically puts a light overlay of whatever your texture is onto the layer you're putting it on. So this would be a good one because it's, it's just faded enough to where content like text or uh, stuff like that will show up on top of it. But there are so many little, ooh, I like the overlay too, that's pretty. But there's so many different um, blending modes that you can use and you use these a lot for um, not just this, but for like getting rid of black backgrounds and things like that. So I think I'm gonna stick with overlay. And then once you do um, get it how you want it to look, you can pinch these two layers together and then you could obviously move it if you wanted to, but watch. I'm gonna turn off all these other layers. So now I just have this piece of paper. Tap, copy. Then I'm gonna go back over here to Good Notes. Hold, paste. And then I'm gonna crop it. Just like this. And then if you get it just right, it fits on your good notes. How cool is that? So that is how you either change a background or copy slash change a paper style using Procreate for your extreme planning. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.